Hello and welcome to MBKM Models, please don't forget to like, share, subscribe and follow for more aircraft documentaries and model build videos. The Indonesian Aerospace N219 Nutanio is a utility aircraft developed from the CASA C212AV car by Indonesian Aerospace. In 2003 after the IPTN N250 program was halted, Indonesian Aerospace IAE planned to develop a 19-seat aircraft to offset the IPTN NC212 end of production. In early 2004, IAE was in discussions with Malaysian aerospace companies and was estimating the N219 development at $60 to $80 million to fly a prototype in April 2006 and certify it in August 2007. In 2006, the $65 million funding for the 19-seat N219 development was proposed under the Qatar-Indonesia Joint Investment Fund. 70% funded by Qatar and 30% by Indonesia for a prototype within two years. By June 2011 its price was forecast to be US $4 million each and it was expected to fly in 2014. The Indonesian industry minister requested RP 59 billion to build the prototype. In January 2012 the predicted development budget was about $30 million for 15 aircraft. In August 2014 the forecast price rose to $5 million. The first metal was cut in September 2014 before a planned rollout in August 2015 and certification in 2016 before EASA certification with support from Airbus for export. First, deliveries were scheduled for 2017. The rollout was then scheduled in November 2015. In August 2016 Airbus was engaged to provide assistance with certification. The prototype entered testing after the November 2015 public introduction. The first prototype construction was planned to be completed in mid-2016 for a maiden flight at the end of 2016 but this first flight was delayed to March 2017 for certification in the same year and production start in 2018. In February it was delayed again to April, after a series of high-speed taxiing runs on the 11th of August 2017 at Hussein Sastra Negara International Airport in Bandung the prototype took off on the 16th of August 2017 for a 26-minute flight. At that time it was estimated that at least RP 200 billion was needed to complete 200 hours of flight tests for certification from the Indonesian Transport Ministry. Production was forecast in 2019 to start with 6 aircraft, increasing to 16 in 2020 and 36 per year in a new 90 to 100 million dollars facility raised through equity participation, private public partnerships, manufacturing subsidiaries and joint ventures. The Indonesian Directorate General of Civil Aviation issued a type certificate on 18 December 2020. The N219 is a twin-engined 19-seater transport aircraft designed for multi-purpose missions in remote areas. It is intended to operate in and out of remote semi-prepared airstrips suitable to conditions in Indonesia's archipelago. It was developed from the CASA C212 AV car and like that design is also of all metal construction. It is claimed that it will have the largest cabin volume in its class 6.50 times 1.82 times 1.70 meters, a flexible door system to allow a multi-purpose missions for transporting passengers and cargo. The aircraft is designed to comply with FAR 23 commuter category aircraft priced at 5.8 to 6 million dollars slightly lower than the Viking DHC6 twin otter the 190 knots 350 kilometers per hour cruise aircraft is intended for cargo and passenger transport troop transport military surveillance search and rescue and medivac operations with a possible amphibian version later. 60% of the materials are domestically produced and local suppliers produce landing gear parts, rubber components and tooling. 
In August 2013 Lion Air was to sign a memorandum of understanding for $104.5 to $5 million N219s. The total market for the N219 was forecast as 97 civil and 57 military aircraft. On 13 April 2015 three memoranda of understanding were signed with NUS and Tarabu on an Air for 20 aircraft and 10 options with AVR Star and Diary for 20 aircraft and 10 options and with Trigana Air Service for 10 aircraft and 5 options. Indonesia has signed deals with China and Mexico to export N219s to those countries. In 2017 Southeast Asian countries such as Thailand and Myanmar expressed interest in the aircraft. By October 2018 domestic airline AVR Star signed a memorandum of understanding for 20 more while the N219 had 120 orders and was due to be certified in April or May 2019. Other customers include Lion Air, Trigana and Air Service, News and Tarabuana, Air Polita, Air Airborne and the Government of Thailand. On 9 December 2019, the government of ACEH signed a cooperation agreement or memorandum of understanding for the procurement of N219 aircraft, crew training and the operation of ACEH's air transport service. On 8 December 2021 a memorandum of understanding was signed by PT Digan Taro Indonesia PTD and PT Info Global Technologies MS2 Info Global to integrate maritime surveillance aircraft MSA mission systems into the N219. It will be based on a previous system that also installed on the Navy's IPT and NC212 maritime patrol aircraft. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening and until next time.